Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today we're going to watch the trailer for The Mountain Man. So we were reading a little bit about him and yeah. um, had no idea. But Dashrath was bo- known as the Mountain Man, was a laborer in a village um, who carved a path. I'm going to do feet, guys, because this is what we understand. 360 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 25 feet deep through a ridge of the hills using only a hammer, Jaden, and a chisel. A huge, like in the side of a mountain. It took him 22 years. Wow. Yeah, to build this path wide enough so that he shortened the travel between two cities from 55 kilometers to 15, to 15 wow. kilometers. That's crazy. Huge, huge difference. Huge. So, and we, so I, when I read a little bit more, he talked because his wife was traveling, I think, to go to the other city, um, and she slipped and fell and got hurt and then couldn't get to town to see the doctor. Because it was 55 kilometers away. So it was so far away. <laughs> That um, after she passed, he started to chisel. This was like his passion. Yeah. His ambitious was to chisel this pathway through um, for the love of his wife. Mm-hmm. But it w- also was, you know, helpful for the rest of the village. Right? Like, it's not just, you know, he did it for, you know, his wife, which is awesome, you know. But he did it because... For the next generation. Yeah. It, this is like the dedication. Um, never give up. Never yeah. give up hope. And he had this, you know, thought in his head. And even people were laughing at him and mm-hmm. making fun of him. He literally only had a chisel and a hammer, Jaden. And for wow. 22 years, he made a path wide enough and good enough that people could walk through and not take so long to get to the next town for medicines for food for water whatever they needed they could go and get it without having to climb up and over the mountain that took a lot longer and was dangerous obviously you know his wife um, got hurt doing it so this is one of those amazing stories that everybody can learn from everybody in the world should know about this um you know, such an inspiration to everybody. Mm-hmm. And this is one of those monumental things that needs to be a huge tourist attraction, like set up shops. And this is like true love and dedication. And you never, never give up. Right. Yeah. If we can get through this coronavirus, you know, if he can do this, it took him 22 years to build this we can get through the coronavirus, you know, you lose a job or you lose hope or you, you know, people get sick. But if he can lose his wife and yet still have this dedication and get through and make this, you know, he never stopped until it was done. Right? Mm-hmm. The climb yeah. to the top of the mountain sometimes takes a little bit longer, right? Mm-hmm. And he just never gave up. And it's just so amazing. So mm-hmm. I look forward to seeing the, um, the trailer. So yeah. then we'll have mm-hmm. to watch the movie, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> लेकिन वहां जाए के लिए भी 40 मील घूम के जाना पड़ता हार नांगे के चक्कर में यानी कितने ही मरखा पे शानदार जबरदस्त जिंदाबाद ये फगुनिया है ये हमारे मैरिया है तो और खातिर गपट लाए एक बादशाह ने अपनी रानी की याद में बनाया था इतना सा <laughs> (laughs) 
जब तक तोड़ेंगे नहीं तब तक छोड़ेंगे बहुत है लंबा दंगल चलेगा रे तो तैयार है तैयार है शानदार जबरदस्त जिंदाबाद लोग कहता है हम पागल हैं, जिंदगी खराब कर रहा है ये भीतर का काम है जब तक ये टूटेगा नहीं बढ़ेगा नहीं तो अपना अखबार काहे नहीं छाप देते अखबार निकालना इतना आसान काम है क्या पहाड़ थोड़े से भी मुश्किल है का <laughs> ताकत कहां से लाते हैं ये प्रेम है प्रेम पर बहुत बल है भगवान भगवान के भरोसे मत बैठिए का पता भगवान हमारे भरोसे बैठा Looks like an awesome yeah. movie. Yeah, like, yeah. I honestly don't know why we haven't seen this earlier. Oh mm-hmm. my god, yeah. And another thing is like this should be like a big tourist attraction, yeah. like yeah. tourist attraction. big yeah. tourist attraction. He spent twenty two years of his life building this or chopping down this mountain. Mm-hmm. Right. And the thing is, like when you go to school, you think of Taj Mahal when you think mm-hmm. of India. Like that's the first thing you would learn. Mm-hmm. And I would like this to be one of the first things we mm-hmm. learn because yeah. this yeah. is amazing I know. and so much better than the Taj Mahal because mm-hmm. the Taj Mahal is not what for one a Hindu temple. That's what people think. That's what most people. Most think. Most people it's, think it's a temple. It's a temple, mm-hmm. but it's not. And the other thing is, is he chopped off their hands so they wouldn't. Yeah, Build so it again. he got all these wonderful designers to make it. Mm-hmm. So he didn't make it himself. He no. got other people to make it for the love of his wife. Now it's still, you know, in love. It's of still his a wife, good story. But n- now I never heard about him chopping the hands oh, off. Oh, we learned about that in social studies. But I'm just glad now. they teach you in just school now. because they didn't teach me that in school. Um, that daddy told me about. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you're getting some. Some right information. Some in right information. Um, but this dedication was so powerful. Like he yeah. did it all himself. Mm-hmm. He wasn't asking for help. He didn't get lots of tools. No. He did it after he was done with his job. Sometimes mm-hmm. for hours and hours. Yeah. You know, he was breaking this mountain down. Mm-hmm. Even though I think for him it was like. Um, you know, a way to for kind of, love. for his love of his wife, but to kind of get through it, um, was this is the reason she died, but it became the whole village could use it. Yeah. You know, um, you know, there should be a huge statue of mm-hmm. him. It should be a huge site. And like I said, everybody in the world needs to know about the sky because the mm-hmm. mountain man, because this is just such an amazing story of dedication yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, kind of reminds me a little bit of Ram when he goes to look for Sita. You know, it takes a year and he struggles that whole time. Now, this took 22 years, so this is a huge, huge. Yeah. But that's what it kind of reminds me of. Like, mm-hmm. like he's doing like Ram, like anything to, you know, he has a path forward and he's going to go and it's the right path. Um, so just amazing. So yeah, it needs to be one of those places mm-hmm. they put on these India tourism yeah. videos. Um, you know, make it huge because yeah. mm-hmm. this is amazing. This is the yeah. kind of thing that we all need to take and learn from now, you know, mm-hmm. being trapped inside for the coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. If the coronavirus wasn't going on, I would go to India with mm-hmm. daddy and mommy and Anjali and Noah and maybe one dog. And maybe no. my, oh, maybe a bu- maybe bugger. Maybe take bugger with you, yeah, mm-hmm. to go see this mm-hmm. and the many other wonderful yeah. things yeah. of India. Yes, this definitely needs to be one of those mm-hmm. things that everybody needs to be told in schools. Mm-hmm. Like, um, 
instead of the Taj Mahal, this is the yeah. mountain man story needs but to like, be told. But, like, that's what you learn when you're in kindergarten to upwards. You learn Taj Mahal's a temple. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You learn a lot of, um, of like, stereotypical stuff about yeah. India mm-hmm. um, being a poor Especially country. Especially about India. About the Taj you Mahal. You always think, like, that's what we've learned. You always think India is very poor and low in society. Mm-hmm. But it's not. No, it's one of Not the biggest democracies in the mm-hmm. world. It has some beautiful cities Big. that surpass New York and yeah. L.A. I was and, so surprised when, yeah. I was, like, when I saw Mumbai or like the big cities for the first mm-hmm. time. And I yeah. saw the trains. They were the cool. Trains. Yeah. I mean, it has everything. It has mm-hmm. beautiful mountains. It has the oceans. It has yeah. beautiful temples. But people only it, show you what they want you to see. Yeah. So I think, yeah, it gets very stereotyped here. And yeah. So Can I tell them what video I'm on? Hopefully this is broadening. It's broadening our from learning, but hopefully other people watch it and learn from yeah. it too because Can it's Can I tell them what India. video I want them to Get um, show us what a shark, Indian sharks. You want to learn about mm-hmm. Indian sharks? Yes, well, I maybe love Indian sharks. Maybe somebody will sharks. send us some links below. Mm-hmm. But this guy is should be inspiration to mm-hmm. all. Like, yeah. no matter what you're going through in life, mm-hmm. you can get through it. Yeah. And it may take a while before you reach your, the ultimate goal. But I love mm-hmm. when they say at the end, it's like, um, you know. Hold on, I gotta back it up for a sec. You can't wait for God. Yeah, who know? Oh, wait. You can't wait for God to do something. Don't sit around and wait for God to do something for you. Maybe God is waiting for mm-hmm. you to do something yeah. for yourself. So, like I said before, it reminds me a lot of Ram, Bhagwan Ram, <laughs> story and Sitama, mm-hmm. because. There was struggles through yeah. the whole story. Their their lives weren't perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, they had I mean, but nobody's hardships, lives are perfect. Mm-hmm. but they plowed through and made through, you know, mm-hmm. in the end. And so yeah. I think this is the same thing. Like, life is not going to be easy. It's never going to be easy. But you got to get through those hardships yeah. to make your life better. Like, you're right. going to learn mm-hmm. from those hardships no matter how hard they are, no matter how many times you want to quit. Right. And it takes time. Even learning new things. Everything takes time. Tomorrow you're not going to master the violin. Mm -hmm. You have to practice and practice and practice Mm -hmm. every day. He went for hours and chiseled Mm -hmm. and chiseled and chiseled. It took him Mm -hmm. 22 years. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes time to perfect stuff and you can get through, you know, he got through his wife's passing yeah. because of this mountain yeah. so his focus was something different and it was for good because now the whole town can use it and i want all mm-hmm. of the world to go see it yeah right yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did and don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful jan family and we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow, tomorrow. bye, bye.